Finally today, fall. We're about a month in. The leaves are changing colors and we're enjoying everything apple apple pie, apple sauce, apple cobbler. Uh, the list just goes on and on. And today we're going to show you how to hold on to those flavors with a few healthy recipes you can make in store right at home. The canning diva, Diane Devereaux, joins us to show us how that's done. You know, my mom used to always make applesauce when we were younger. And so I, it was always a fun thing to do, but I feel intimidated to do it myself. Oh, well, I guess that's why there's the canning <laughs> diva, because then I can break it down and take away all the fear for you. Yay. Um, yes, and I, applesauce is fun. It's something I get my kids involved in with as well. Um, and what I try and do is make it a little more um, appealing flavor and color wise. Okay. So what I want to show you today is how to naturally flavor your applesauce mm. using real fruit. I like that you brought strawberries, and that's a nice fruit blend, mm -hmm. the two. Nice fruit blend as well as blueberries. So if you went ahead and stored some blueberries in the freezer I do. from the summer, mm -hmm. you you can get those out and you can use them in conjunction with your applesauce. Peaches and pears are also a really fun thing for fall. Mm. So I brought some pears with me today and unfortunately as you know as I'm cutting them they're browning a little bit but that's okay. Spiced pears is delicious and so if we're going to already add cinnamon and nutmeg to our um, applesauce that brown flavor is actually going to enhance it instead of discolor right. it. So the other would be strawberries. And so what I tell individuals to do, and of course the recipe will be on your um, website, website mm -hmm. um, is I tell individuals to go ahead and cut up, hull them and cut them up. And then prior to putting them into the applesauce, which we, um, or I should say the apples, because we haven't gotten to the sauce yet, just go ahead and give them a little mashing and let them sit just want to break them down just a touch so it makes it easier when we start to boil them with the apples. Okay. Now when you made your applesauce, did your mom have you peel the apples or did you use them? She had us peel them. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is a fun way to still get the health benefits of the skin. Go ahead and core them. I love using this handy tool. Yep. And just go ahead and core them and wedge them and that's what you're going to put right into the stock pot. This is going to boil down for about 20 minutes with the strawberries. Then you're going to run it through a food mill. So you will remove all of that that peel as you're running it through this food mill. Everything will grind up really nicely and then you're going to get your sauce. Um, some individuals really enjoy taking the skin off ahead of time, but it is a lot of comfort yeah. for some work. So I'm into going ahead, it's like finding a way that makes it easy, quick, convenient, um, and still delicious. And this has a lot of flavor to it. So we're gonna keep the skin on for today. Um, once you've run everything through the food mill, this is where you can start adding your different fruits. Now, obviously, there's four different recipes online. Don't blend them all together. <laughs> I don't know how that would taste or look. So definitely pick which fruit you want to utilize. Peach is a fun one because it's going to give it a nice orange hue. Mm -hmm. orange hue. Um, strawberries, obviously, are going to turn things pink, which, of course, is my signature color, which is why we're doing that today. So let's go ahead and get those in there. Now, as this boils down, like I said, for that 20 minutes in time, it's going to start coloring it and already is kind of a isn't little it, bit. Isn't it yeah. beautiful? Yes, absolutely. So, I mean, before this, this segment is over, we're going to have some pink applesauce to go ahead and put inside that jar. Yeah. Now, some people love to have it chunky. I prefer my applesauce chunky. Mm -hmm. um, my kids do not, they're not a big texture chunky. <laughs> so you yes, have to kind of do I a little of both. Yes, I use the food processor or the food mill. The food mill is really easy. It's a traditional um, non-electric way to go ahead and get all of that skin off. Um, I know some individuals who don't even core their apples. So wow. there, it, there's not necessarily a right or wrong way as long as you're using a method to break it down. Always full of great ideas and I love yes. the fact that we're combining different fruits in order to make it a much more flavorful thing yeah. instead of adding a ton of sugar. A ton of sugar.